Our tape for this lightweight 20 and 5 for Mansoor Barnawi, a man that has won tournaments in other organizations, world champion against the 9 and 1, JJ Wilson. Does that experience make a factor in this fight? Here's Michael C. Williams. And for all those joining us live on BBC iPlayer throughout the UK, we welcome you to Dublin, Ireland, here inside the Three Arena. Our prelims move now to the lightweight division, set for three five-minute rounds, introducing the blue corner. At 5'11", weighing in 156 pounds even, nearly perfect as a professional. Nine victories, just one loss out of Auckland, New Zealand. JJ, the Maui Kid Wilson. And across the cage is adversary finding out of the red corner at six foot, weighing in 155.2 pounds, ranked at number nine. He enters with 20 professional victories, five defeats, fighting out of Paris, France, the Afro Samurai, Mansoor Barnahui. And your referee, once again, Mark Goddard. Barnaby has won eight of his last nine fights. J.J. Wilson returning after a year on the shelf. Said he had a bad neck injury. Has recovered and now working with ATT looking to make it two in a row. Tough, tough assignment against Mansur Barnaby. And the questions will begin to be answered, John, with the opening of the round. Immediate level change by Wilson. Interesting. Trying to take Barnaby to the mat first. But Barnaby turning it around has the body lock employed momentarily. Barnaby did a nice job with the jab to get J.J. Wilson to want to get into that clinch and then he changed it up. This is where Barnaby does great work. Big time with the elbows and the knees. There comes the knee. Incredible battle already for positioning. Knee to the midsection by Wilson creating some distance but putting all of his weight pressure on Barnaby. Barnaby looking to pummel and again the level change by Wilson well defended thus far by Barnaby, but both expending energy. Ex and that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm looking right now. Oh, I have the two take down. Nice take down by J.J. Wilson. J.J. Wilson really putting a lot of pressure on Barnaby, but that does exp express a lot of energy and he's got to remain calm in the cage. Wilson growing up in Auckland, New Zealand. And one of the things that we saw when Barnaby first came to Bellator against Adam Piccolotti, his ability to make a, a sweep on a very good black belt like Adam Piccolotti, oh, he did great work. Here you see J.J. Right Wilson to mount. going to mount. Beautifully done by J.J. Smooth transition to mount by Wilson. Remember, he used to cut to 145. He's facing one of the bigger lightweights, and maybe there's the case in point. Bartowi able to explode, use the fence, and the bigger of the two fighters now in top position. So immediately, Bartowi turns the tables on Wilson. Bartowi took that cage and cage walked right over. A good elbows from the bottom by Wilson, setting up a submission attempt, looking for the triangle. Not quite there. You can take a look at where his legs are at, but he's got a good position at turning this over. Barnaby is not being really choked at this and point, but it's in a position where he's got to figure out, how do I get out right in now? In his five losses, Barnaby has never been finished. Oh, we saw it when he fought against Brent Primus. It was a back and forth battle. Speaking of back and forth. Yeah, exactly. These two are like just going crazy on the ground right Love now. The Beautiful scrambling. scrambles. Back. Amen, John. Amen. Great scrambles. High level technique of what we expected of these two lightweights. Different points of their careers, but in many ways in the same. We had Barnaby much anticipated debut. Didn't go the way he wanted. But right now, going to work from the back of J.J. Wilson, now who again has recovered from adversity. Now he's into the figure four. Body triangle employed by Barnaby. Is he going to look for a twist? <laughs> you were looking at that arm. Look Was anybody going to try to bring him on? Man, we've seen so much good stuff on the ground so far tonight. Why not? And this right here is where J.J. Wilson really just wants to stay calm to all this good work he's done. And now he's finding himself with Barnaby on his back. 
Just has got to relax and think of his defense and work his way out of the position. Putting that foot to the ground is the right thing for J.J. to do. Now he has to try to turn himself inside of that well, figure four. Well defended by Wilson. The hand grappling but carrying the weight of Barnaby. Barnaby delivering some shots from the back to the jaw of Wilson. Wilson delivering some blind back elbows. Now wing blocking. Minute and a half gone in or left in this opening round. It began with the takedown by Wilson, and oh. now the crank. Good escape again, and Wilson showing initiative, but it leads to Barnaway now controlling from his back for the majority of the round. Barnaway has been on the back for a while right now, and, and the one thing that JJ really, JJ Wilson really needs to keep from doing is giving that self where he's putting his face down to the mat. Under a minute left here in the opening round. Barnaby continues to work from the back, employing the body triangle, trying to snake his arm under the chin of Wilson. Wilson defending well and looking to either reverse his fortunes or ride out the round and regroup in the second stanza. 30 seconds left in the first. Sorry, Barnaby, real quick, trying to go for a short choke there. He just keeps on moving himself back and forth. At Little things, he's looking for that one mistake by J.J. Wilson. And Barnaway knows a thing or two about rear naked chokes. He has 11 on his resume, but there's the escape. Now into top position goes J.J. Wilson. So Wilson earning some confidence at the end of the round, sending a message here with some ground and pound as the round ends. Good stuff here. What a fight. The hunger on display and you see both fighters working their game plans John and each having their moments although Barnaby controlled the majority of the round from Wilson's back control being the operative word I, th I think you said the whole thing both fighters having their moments and they both did have their moments it's a matter of the, the one thing you gotta look at with Barnaby Barnaby An intense opening five minutes, and Mansoor Barnawi now opens up with the long jab, and that's the strike that he'll try to possess, John, looking to looking at range, controlling the distance, but Wilson firing back, and now from southpaw stance. Wilson doing a good job with his stand-up, landing the shots off of Barnawi as he's countering those shots. Beautiful, beautiful Hardegoshi! Beautiful Hardegoshi by J.J. Wilson to get the top position now. We're going to see if he can stay there. And you have the half butterfly hook in there by Barnaway. And again, Barnaway, John, a guy who is, you don't want to be on your back, but he's a guy that knows all of the tricks and all of the, the codes to solve the puzzles. But again, against a guy like Wilson, always have to be on, on your P's and Q's. You do, but we saw when he was against Adam Piccolotti, who's a beautiful jiu-jitsu practitioner, black belt. He was able to get the sweeps, and we saw him immediately get the sweep with J.J. Wilson. So this is a great position for JJ he needs to take his time and there goes that There's turning the, the sweep yeah. beautiful turn but right into the omoplata by Wilson very nicely done by JJ Wilson still in a position where Barnum we can come out in the top though JJ's got to try to figure out how am I going to turn that body over now he's got the omoplata try to stay with it there you go you see Barnum we starting to step over JJ's trying to hold that position and JJ's not going to, I don't believe he's going to try to use this as a submission, but he's going to try to get to the top position. And you are right position. on the money, John, as he does exactly that into side control. Wilson with four submission wins, three rear naked chokes and an arm bar, but now controlling from side control on Barnaby. So right into the full mount. John, first round we had Barnaby in dominant position, and now Wilson, and look at the scrambles, my man. It's just back and forth. These guys Where's are Where's the bacon with the these scrambles? 
Two minutes gone here in the second. And we are seeing a grappling clinic on display by Barna Wee and Wilson. JJ in a position for the arm bar. I don't know if he's going to be able to extend enough to put pressure on that arm. But he can always go into that transition arm bar to triangle. You see, that's what Barna Wee is doing, locking his arm in there to keep that arm bar from being employed. His last submission win for Wilson was via arm bar, but it was back in January of 2020 against Mario Navarro at Bellator 238. So it's been a while and here against Barnawi. Barnawi looking to put pressure on him, try to deliver some maybe slicing elbows across the face of Wilson. Trying to pull that arm out. He's got it out. Yeah. But there you go to that triangle transition. Dogged determination for J.J. Wilson. And that's exactly what he needs to do, Morrow. He has to continue to put these type of attacks. Beautiful. To him. Look, at what, look at what occurs when you become offensive. Wow. Swivel Fantastic. right into the hook. Great move by J.J. Wilson. He just absolutely continues to keep being an offensive fighter looking for his moment the bjj black belt jj wilson began training jiu-jitsu 10 years ago at the age of 16 he's competed in jiu-jitsu tournaments so when you look at the experience edge for barnawi wilson beginning to impose his will more and more on the proceedings john right now he's doing a fantastic job of holding position these guys are as josh talking two ferrets fighting on the ground just back and forth rolling through and there crazy. is another roll through now it's wilson looking for the arm well defended by barna we just over a minute left in the second round and there's elbows from the bottom More elbow, another elbow from the bottom, and finally Barnaby starting to deliver some ground and pound. Not a lot behind the shots, and it's more Wilson delivering these elbows from the bottom, John. Right now, you, you always look at the person on top's got more power, but Wilson has got more volume coming from the bottom, but he's had the better round. Here he is attacking again. Not really anything there, but he's looking to be offensive, looking to attack, and putting Barnaby in a position he's got to defend. One of the best di displays of ground technique in MMA I've seen in a while, John, inside the Bellator MMA cage on both parts. And these two combined 35 professional fights, neither has ever been finished. Both of them looking for finishes here in what has been a tremendous opening 10 minutes. And it still ends with Barnaby on top. Take a look at that beautiful hard gauche by J.J. Wilson just getting the top position. That was beautifully done. And then lands the elbow right as they settle into position. And then at all the offensive attacks looks for the arm lock here. He's got that extended. You see him go. You see him putting pressure on that. Barnaby has to react. He has to give position. And J.J., instead of trying to hold on to a submission that's going to end up being defended, he moves to the top position. That's absolutely high fight IQ by J.J. Wilson. How do you have it after two rounds, Mr. McCarthy? And I, I have this fight even. I have J.J. Wilson winning that second round. I have uh, Barnaby, I believe, won the first one. So this is up for grabs. Who wants it more? And in terms of when you break down the tape, and of course, every fight is different, what is the one area you'd like to see 
each fighter perhaps try to impose more knowing that that might be smart against their opponent? I don't think I can ask for anything more from either fighter. They have given everything. Amen. This, Amen. More, more on the ground, but it's just been fantastic. Look right now. Guys well are, they're standing right here in the box just going after each other in the stand-up. And on the ground, it's been incredible. Oh, nice straight left cross there by Wilson. We've seen limited action in terms of the stand-up. And so here they are now. They go from putting on a ground display, and now they're exchanging strikes in the center of the cage. Both with beautiful right hands landing. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six by Wilson. Has Barnui along the fence. Barnui trying to flash the jab, but it's Wilson picking up momentum and nice. beginning to flow, John. Beautiful left hook landed by JJ. He's starting to feel that range. You see how he's standing oh, in the pocket. Got caught with the right hand, but then he counters Barnui with the left and hits him with a kick. Misses with the uppercut. Lands the left hand. But more you can look, Barnui doesn't have the power right now that JJ Wilson is landing with. JJ's landing there's the bigger a, shots. And there's the IQ, John. Level change, takedown secured. Wilson securing the takedown here in the final round. A minute and a half gone, and he has the, well, statistical advantage in terms of total strikes thrown and landed, and now three for four in the takedown department, John. But as we've seen, scrambles have been the story of the fight. Oh, the ground game has been the, the predominant positioning of both of these guys, and they both have done just beautiful work on the ground. But right now, J.J. Wilson is starting to take over in this fight. He was winning the stand-up. He gets the takedown. Now he's in the top position and landing heavy ground and pound. Barno, we used his the cage earlier in the fight to, to sweep, and now in close proximity again with those long limbs. But Wilson putting on the pressure. And again, the pace through 10 minutes has been frenetic and an opportunity here now. Wilson may be looking for a moment to try to improve position, but being locked down at the moment by Barno Wee. Also looking for a moment to grab some air. Hey, hey, hey. They have been going just like what you're talking about. And Here's another sweep. You can see J.J. Wilson looking for the clock to see, oh my God, how much time is left. I just got put on the bottom. I have to attack. And that again, also IQ, knowing the spatial win and knowing what's going on in all forms of the fight, John. You know, we talked about, look at the, right now you're seeing Barna Wee with an arm lace. Pound. He's got that, he had that left arm, right arm trapped. But we talked about in the beginning, does the experience of Barna Wee in all of those fights compared to what J.J. Wilson's been in? Here comes the arm attack. Had the honor of being in Japan for Bushido 6, Luis Acevedo, Luis Firmino, who put on one of the great early grappling clinics in MMA. And John, tonight, these two are, are serving it up here. Minute and a half left in the fight. Arnaui trying to bring this fight back to his domain. Landed some good elbows in that ground and pound attack. But man, you look at the strikes, the stats here in the third round. Barnoui trying to make up for lost time because he's been badly outstriked according to our totals, but trying to make the most of it here, John, with less than a minute remaining in the fight. Wilson still looking for the submission from the bottom. Barnoui making the look, looking to make him pay. Looking to land big elbows. Wilson really needs to go after getting himself either in a position to reverse the position or get himself back to his feet. Wow, that's exactly what he's doing right now. You see he's attacking the left arm right now. There's a Kimura grip on the left arm, and he's going after it. Now he's got it open for that arm lock. Beautifully done by J.J. Wilson. Incredible display. Good defense. And there's that Wilson is. looking to close the show in less than 30 seconds left. Hyper extending Barnaby's arm. Barnaby's never been finished. And the Barnaby. Barnaby's trying to use his foot to push those hands off of his arm. Ah, it's nasty right there. That is Ronda so Rousey, Misha Tate, and now it's J.J. Wilson. The clock is going to run out. What a fight. And Dublin standing up and cheering. An incredible display of MMA skills. And regardless of who won this fight, both of their stock has skyrocketed here tonight, John. I, I don't think there's a doubt of who won that fight. 
but we'll find out. I'm not the I'm not the judge, but what I'm a performance general, you're right. We know who won it, what a performance you by both so players. Right. But JJ Wilson salted it away with that submission attempt there in the third round. And again, call me jaded being in the sport for so long, combat sports. You just never know. We think we know who won the fight, this John. We have been Badly, badly burned in the past. Let's look at this action. Here comes when JJ, you see him putting that thumb up. He wants to get the thumb up so he can put pressure in hyperextending. You see Bartoli is in pain and he tries to work. He does kick the head, trying to free those hands. JJ goes back to work, trying to force that thumb up. You see him trying to hyperextend that arm again. It was close and Bartoli put up with a lot of pain to not tap out. That was a beautiful exhibition by both men. 26 year old JJ Wilson again remember we talked about him cutting down to 145 has had weight issues but a new lease on his life joining American top team and going move for move technique for technique scramble for scramble sweep for sweep with a guy who is highly credentialed in Mansoor Barnawi. We'll find out who the winner is from Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go now to your three judges in cage side. Ben Cartledge, Dave Peabody, Sal D'Amato. All have it exactly the same at 29 to 28. All have it for the winner by unanimous decision. The Maori Kid, J.J. Wilson. A coming out party for the Maori Kid, J.J. Wilson, who just beat a man with more than twice his experience, and he improves to 10 and 1, and he's standing by with Big John. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with your winner, J.J. Wilson. That was an incredible back and forth battle the ground techniques the submission attempts the stand up when you were hitting him up in the third round up against the cage the best performance of your career how are you feeling i feel amazing first of all i want to say ireland stand the fuck up baby let's go i feel amazing american top team has improved my game so much i want to say a big thank you to king mo who wasn't able to come here but he improved my game same as steve marco Diego and Mike Brown, they've improved me so much. I talked at the beginning about your confidence level and how confident you were now since you were with ATT and the training and the guys that you were able to go against. How is that making you feel when you step in this cage? I feel like once I'm in here, like nobody can stop me, you know, because I'm training with the best in the world. And whoever they put me up against here, it's not harder than a Tuesday, Tuesday sparring at, at the gym, you know? Taking a look at the man that you just beat, he has been a tournament winner. This guy is phenomenal. He's been a world champion. Who is it you should be facing next in this cage? You know, if I was in the Grand Prix, I would have been able to fight Mansoor first, and next would have been Usman, the champ. So, you know, I'm looking for the top. I'm aiming for the top. Whoever they want to give me to give me the champion, I'm here. Sounds good to me. Unbelievable performance. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet and give it up for J.J. Wilson. J.J. Wilson with a breakthrough performance being congratulated by the coaching staff at American Top Team. Just a top tier performance tonight from the Maori Kid and a...